Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Monday of the first week in Ordinary Time, January 11th, 2021. I am Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize that we are in the presence of God. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. Our first psalm is Psalm 5 entitled, A Morning Prayer Asking for Help. To, to my words give ear, O Lord, give heed to my groaning. Attend to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord. In the morning you hear me. In the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil. No sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man the Lord detests. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie in wait. Make clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their mouths. Their heart is all mischief. Their throat a wide open grave. All honey their speech. All those who you protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. You shelter them. In you they rejoice. Those who love your name. It is you who bless the just man, Lord. You surround him with favor as with a shield. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, all justice and all goodness come from you. You hate evil and abhor lies. Lead us, your servants, in the path of your justice, so that all who hope in you may rejoice with the church and in Christ. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. We praise your glorious name, O Lord, our God. Our canticle is taken from the first book of Chronicles, entitled, Glory and Honor Are Due to God Alone. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. For all in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you, and you have domain over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Therefore, our God, we give you thanks, and we praise the majesty of your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We praise your glorious name, O Lord, our God. Adore the Lord in his holy court. Our second psalm is Psalm 29, entitled, A Tribute of Praise to the Word of God. O give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters. The Lord on the immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor, the Lord's voice shattering the cedars. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap, leap like a calf and Sarian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire, the Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh, the Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. 
The God of glory thunders. In his temple they all cry, Glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You live forever, Lord and King. All things of the earth justly sing your glory and honor. Strengthen your people against evil, that we may rejoice in your peace and trust in your eternal promise. Adore the Lord in his holy court. Our reading is taken from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Anyone who would not work should not eat. We hear that some of you are unruly, not keeping busy, but acting like busybodies. We enjoin all such, and we urge them strongly in the Lord Jesus Christ to earn the food they eat by working quietly. You must never grow weary of doing what is right, brothers. Blessed among us today is the prophet, 8th century prophet, Micah. The prophet Micah was a younger contemporary, perhaps even a disciple of the prophet Isaiah. Like Isaiah, he operated in the southern kingdom of Judah in the 8th century BC. Unlike Isaiah, who sprang from the priestly elite, Micah came from a small village in the countryside. He identified with the poor of the land, those who bore the burden of the city folk with their privileges and their greed. The rich, he said, were like cannibals feeding off the flesh of my people. In harsh tones, he denounced those who abhor justice and pervert all equity. The northern kingdom of Israel had fallen to Assyria. Micah warned that the same fate awaited Judah. He did not even spare Jerusalem from the heat of divine judgment to come. The corruption had gone too far. The wound was incurable. And yet, what God sought from Judah was correction, not destruction. Micah proclaimed the preservation of a saving remnant from which a new nation would emerge. There would be a lasting era of peace and justice. War would, no be, would be no more, and justice would reign. What in return did God require? Not burnt offerings, lavish sacrifices, or elaborate worship, but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. This is a uh, biblical quote from Micah. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Our responsory, blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age. Blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age. His marvelous works are beyond compare, blessed from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age. Blessed be the Lord our God, our canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born in the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord, prepare his way. 
to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord our God. The response to our intercessions this morning is, Sustain our hope, O God. God of majesty and glory, you have crowned us with honor and grace. With trust in your care for us, we pray. Sustain our hope, O God. Support our efforts to dialogue with one another and to fix our hearts on the love of Jesus. Sustain our hope, O God. Help us to rehabilitate our environment and to practice good stewardship of the earth's resources. Sustain our hope, O God. Strengthen those who are in recovery from addiction and support their families. Sustain our hope, O God. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, our priests, deacons, deacon candidates, our parish ministers, our parish staff, all those of you who donate your time, talent, and treasure to our parish, but especially for our parishioners and those parishioners who may either be sick or who have died. Sustain our hope, O God. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And our prayer during our COVID-19 pandemic. Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your son as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother, and gain for our nation and world, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother, health of the sick, and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Father, may everything we do begin with your inspiration and continue with your saving help. Let our work always find its origin in you and through you reach completion. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May God guide us along the path of everlasting life through Jesus, our Savior and friend. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Please have a blessed week. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other. And may God be praised.